What would happen if you took high doses of vitamin D3 every single day for 14 days? Now, when I'm talking about high dosages, I'm talking about 10,000 or 20,000 IUs of vitamin D3. That's not really that high. 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3 is really only being out in the sun for 20 minutes in the summer. 20,000 units of vitamin D3 is being out in the sun for 40 minutes. That's not that much. Taking more vitamin D than the RDA, which is only a measly 600 IUs, is very, very important. Your immune system, your muscles, your endocrine system, the hormone systems, your brain all need vitamin D. The requirements for vitamin D for those tissues are a lot higher. The minimum amount just to maintain these systems should be about 10,000 IUs every single day. 80% of the population on planet Earth is deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D is the most important vitamin because it's involved in 10% of all of your genetics. That's 2,500 different genes. So if if you took sufficient amount of vitamin D every single day, you're not going to have the back pain that you once had. You're not going to have the inflammation that you had. Your blood sugar would be much better. Your mood will be better because when you're deficient in vitamin D, you're going to be depressed. Your blood pressure would be normalized. If there's a virus or bacteria floating around, your immune system would be much stronger to deal with it. There's a specialized cell in your immune system called the killer T cell that does two things, kills viruses and kills cancer cells, but it can't work without vitamin D. High doses of vitamin D3 have been known to put autoimmune diseases in remission and autoimmune diseases are the number one health problem on planet earth right now. High doses of vitamin D3 can also help endometriosis, shrink fibroids, can even help prevent glaucoma, too much pressure in the eye. Anytime you take vitamin D3, always make sure you take it with vitamin K2 as well as magnesium.